Hello everyone, it's me, Goomish1, slash, Santa, slash, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever, we'll get to that another day. They stole my name, though. Yu-Gi-Oh stole my name. Used to be Yu-Gi-Oh 5, you could see me, now you can't, because Yu-Gi-Oh 5 DS. So anyways, this is Operations Frozen Dam. I'm playing on the Hellgeist, as you can see, I'm going to play as a tactician, I think, for most of the game. Because, uh, the TSAs are really important in the beginning of Operations for Frozen Dam, in my opinion. And, um, uh, let's see. Uh... Uh, this is an old gameplay actually from a while ago, and uh, I'm gonna start putting some new gameplays up of some, you know, I've been starting to play as other classes like the Engineer, because the SC3 LMG is such an amazing gun. I love that gun. You all should try the gun. The gun's amazing. And I think there was Fish Fan told me to try that uh, M82 SE, and I've tried it for the medic. It's okay. Maybe I'll get better with it. So anyways, I usually capture this top spawn because everyone thinks that you should capture this top spawn first if you're the ISA. And in uh, my opinion, it's better to capture the other TSA over there because that can help make or break the game much better, in my opinion. Especially if you're, you know, like you're a IS, I mean, if you're the ISA, because this TSA is okay, it doesn't really help much. I only capture it to this way, though. I only do it so that this way, the <laughs> get killed. This way, the medic. I mean, this way they can't get a spawn and sort of spawn, not spawn trap them, but sort of, you know, make them stay there. I was trying to melee this guy, but I decided not to. Uh, then I tried to. So I'm gonna be. Uh, I think. I'm trying to see. I think I'm gonna capture the back TSA now because that's also important. This is the most important TSA in my opinion. See, this guy knows to capture it. So remember, you should really capture it, and if you do capture, protect that back TSA, because that TSA is really important. This is going to be a fun little random grenade throw I did. Right, got a kill. It wasn't really random, I just was going to throw it anyways, but, you know, I aimed it. You can see I'm in first place because I'm awesome like that. This is one of the game, this is the old gameplay as you can see because this is one that, you know, the freezing issue wasn't fixed until recently. And hopefully after I upload all my old gameplays, I'll upload a brand new one. And you all can enjoy my new gameplays where I play the engineer with STA3 LMG. Uh, I'll try putting up more Warzone maps and whatnot because I've been playing Operations a lot recently. I just love being in those cutscenes. Make me feel so good about myself. It's like winning a trophy every time. So hopefully I'll put up some, after I have a... I have a few more gameplays, I think maybe three or four more, they're just me operations on the various maps and uh, on the, you know, the three operations maps. Uh, hopefully I'll upload those soon within the next few days, or you know, within this week hopefully, and then you can, uh, and then I'll start, playing some, or start recording some new videos with me. And then I'll also to fish fan. I'll, I think that's his name. I'm also start trying the. I also start trying the M82 SC, which is weird. You know, usually I was I'm pretty decent with the infiltrators SDA 52E, the silence burst gun like the M82. But I've been having a little trouble with that. I guess maybe because I don't know. I'm used to a different playstyle with the medic. You know, with the medic I usually use the SMG, which I think is a really good gun in my opinion. You know, it fires well. Aww, so close to getting the kill. You know, it fires well. It, you know, it fires well. I use it a lot to get uh, assassination kills, especially in Radic Academy. It's really good for that. Even when my team was losing, I was able to do that. Get assassination kill with that gun. So let's see. Uh, there's nothing really to commentate, really. You know, I've said it. Uh, usually I capture, if you're the Hellgas, I would say capture the top TSA because people usually go for that. But if you're the ISA, I would go for the bottom TSA that was here. Because that will definitely help you a lot because it's right near both bomb areas. The just top TSA kind of like, it kind of like just helps the ISA, the Hellgas not spawn trap you in a sense so they can't totally kill you. But it, it's a secondary objective really. And I know people may say, oh, you're using the tactician because, you know, it's overpowered. I was only a tactician because, uh, stupid missile had that not hidden. 
because I was only a tactician in this match because it's very important uh, in a sense that you're the that you know you capture the TSAs because they can either really make or break you at this beginning and uh, now let's see make or break you they make or break you and I'm losing like yeah they can like you know make or break or make you know so the enemies can easily get to you I lost my train of thought. T says make or break you, and uh, we'll get from there. So that's why I was being a tactician. I mean, the MA2 is a really good gun, and I use only the missile launcher when I can see enemies coming. I know sometimes I may can use it like a primary, but if I can see like enemies coming, for example, you know, I'm gonna shoot them because I get 50 more points with it. You know, I may hurt some more enemies. I don't have to directly aim at them. You know, especially if they capture this TSA and they're trying to get there, you can shoot some missiles or some grenades, you're guaranteed to get some kills like I did earlier. The only class I don't really play in this game is the uh, marksman. Just not a sniper guy, even though it's really easy in this game. I'm not a sniper guy. And for some reason I was shooting this uh they attacked me and I decided to leave it alone. I should have killed it, got 50 more points. Aye. Mm. Oh, we won, it's over. And where am I? Oh, that's me, I'm the guy who gets to hit him. I like operations a lot. I mean, I can understand. It's, it means kind of like a mini war zone, but in a sense, it's different. And um, uh, uh yeah, let's not change that again. You know, and it's a fun mode, especially the cutscenes. I just wish the hell guys had better cutscenes, cause I don't mean. But I say, especially if you want to act in your snow drift, you know, you have to be pretty cool cutscenes, and it frozen down, the whole thing explodes. And if the hell guys, when you.